Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the WCW United States Heavyweight Championship. Sometimes that's all you can do. 
And guys, you can almost literally feel the electricity in the air for this Hell in a Cell match. DDP began wrestling at age 35, proving that age is not a hurdle in this industry. On the other hand, you're older than I am, Saxton. I'm a way better commentator. What a strike. Boom! <laughs> what a stomp. Good grief. Beautiful side Russian leg sweep. Boom, what impact. Big collision on the splash. Leap from... Gentlemen, I think we can all agree that we've seen some pretty special moments over the years. But for me, few were more special than getting the opportunity to call the first ever women's Hell in a Cell match back in October of 2016. What a strike! Recalling that first ever women's Hell in a Cell match, I gotta say, the ovation Sasha Banks received that night were among the loudest I've ever heard, but I didn't remember you actually calling the match. Yeah, that's what happens when you compete in your hometown, Cole, but ovations can only get you so far. And in the end, it was Charlotte walking away with the win, not Sasha. Set him up for something here. And whatever it is, it's gonna hurt, and it's going to hurt bad. Guys, I don't think you can have a conversation about great Hell in a Cell moments without bringing up the name Shane McMahon. He really has become synonymous with Cell insanity. Toss to the outside. It's hard not to recognize what Shane McMahon has done when it comes to Hell in a Cell. As Corey was saying, but at what point is enough enough? Come on, Michael, there's no such thing as enough when it comes to Shane McMahon. Even you know that. We all know the storied history of Hell in a Cell, but we'd be remiss if we didn't at least mention that the first time anybody laid eyes on this demonic structure was back in October 1997 at the Bad Blood pay-per-view. Oh, Paige just barely got out of the way. Reflecting again on the first time we saw the Hell in a Cell structure, I don't think anybody at the time could have envisioned the truly merciless moments this structure would provide over the years. And amazingly, Michael, those moments somehow become more and more barbaric with each passing match. DDP was known for innovative offense. His diamond cutter is one of the fastest, most dangerous finishers in sports entertainment. One time, DDP even taught NBA great Carl Malone how to execute the maneuver. DDP has created so many different variations of the diamond cutter, and one is quicker than the next. This move can be executed coming out of a standing submission hold off a reversal, even off the top rope. The Diamond Cutter is one of the most iconic finishers in sports entertainment. 
That much was clear when DDP made surprise returns to WWE at the 2015 Royal Rumble match and as an entrant in the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal at WrestleMania 32. The WWE Universe wanted someone to feel the band. Crucifix and scissor. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Avoids trouble there. Oh, nasty elbow. Another one. Guys, I think it needs to be said that yes, while we all are enjoying watching this match, you cannot deny the real dangers these superstars are presented with here tonight. Superstars change forever after competing in this demonic structure. For once, I agree with both of you. The fact of the matter is that tonight will likely be the most demanding night of these superstars' careers. Real quick, let's remind everybody that there are no rules inside a Hell in a Cell, meaning the referee's sole job in this match is to call for the bell following a three count or submission. Beautiful technique. Just as important as Byron's point about there being no rules inside the cell, the same holds true for outside the structure. As we've seen many times in the past, Superstars don't always stay within the cell. No, they don't, Cole. In fact, a lot of times you'll see them competing on top of the cell of all places. Of course, guys, we all remember when the Hell in a Cell debuted in 1997 and how harrowing the structure looked. But it's worth noting that the cell has become even more ruinous in recent years. GDP's fading here. This match is clearly taking its toll on the champ. This cell has a way of changing people forever. And I can't help but think he's never going to be the same again after this one. Yeah, but the good news is that he still appears to be in better condition than his opposition right now. Just barely got out of the way. Got him up. Oh boy, he is rolling. Uh oh, wow. running cross body. Nicely Gritty. done. History might be shoulders down. Championship on the line. That's not going to do it. Still too fresh. This is a grueling championship match. Nobody wants to lose this opportunity. And there's the reversal from Diamond Dallas Page. Chaos, melee, pandemonium. Leapfrog. Nice. Ring rattling. You gotta believe this one's over. Look out. Diamond Dallas Page. This might be it. Oh, my. That's exactly what DD put somebody get the hose. This guy's on fire. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. The end is near for him. Pure 
devastation. Looks like another victory for the champ, Michael. He's not going to like this. Not out here. Not like this. Oh, my God. Uh-oh. This is going to be bad. Face plant. Got to like the champ's chances now. The force of that impact. Here's the pin. Title on the line. Two. Three. The history books will have to wait another day. The devil is in front of this hell in the cell match. Let's take another look, guys.